Start by heading to your content browser. Then add Niagara System Emitter and type Fountain in the search bar. The Fountain template is perfect because it already has basic settings for particles that shoot or fall downward. Create it and give it a clear name like Rain, so you can find it easily later. Next, double click your new Rain emitter to open it in the Niagara System Editor. In the Emitter Overview, click on your Fountain Emitter settings and look for SIM target. Switch this to GPU Compute SIM. While you're there, find Calculate Bounce Mode and set it to Fixed. This step keeps your rain particles visible across a large area, preventing them from disappearing if they move beyond default bounds. Now let's set up the actual rain behavior. Find the velocity in the emitter stack and click on it. Change the velocity mode to linear, this means your particles will fall in a straight, steady direction. For realistic rain, you'll want your particles to fall straight down with just a slight drift for wind. For example, set x to 50 for a gentle side wind, y to 0 if you don't need drift forward or back, and z to around minus 2000 to minus 3000. The negative z value controls how fast the rain falls, the bigger the negative number, the faster and heavier the rain will look. You can always adjust these values later for different weather. Next, find the shape location. By default, it's usually a sphere shape, but rain needs to cover a wide area, so switch it from sphere to box or plane. I recommend using a box shape for more control. Set the box extents to something like 5000, 5000, and 500 for X, Y, and Z. These numbers control the spawn area for your raindrops. X and Y define how wide and deep the rain covers your level, and Z sets the thickness of the spawning area vertically. A larger box means your rain will look natural even when your player or camera moves. Find the particle spawn module and adjust the spawn rate. This controls how much rain appears. A light rain might need just 1,000, 5,000 particles per second, while heavy storm rain can use 10,000 or more. Always balance this with performance. I am going to change my value around 2,000. Next, click on Initialize Particle and scroll down to find Sprite Attributes. Change Sprite Size Mode to Non-Uniform, this means you can make the raindrops thin and long instead of round. For a good starting point, Set the sprite size to something like 1 for the width and 30 to 80 for the height. The first number controls how thin each drop is, and the second number controls how long it looks, giving you that realistic streak effect. I am going to change my value to maybe 40. Below that, check sprite rotation and set it to direct angle. This helps the particles face the right way as they move through space, instead of spinning randomly. After that, expand your sprite renderer settings and set the alignment mode to velocity alignment. This step is very important for realism because it makes sure each raindrop always points in the direction it's traveling, matching the wind or fall angle. For an extra touch of realism, add a drag module if you don't have one already. Set the drag coefficient to something between 0.1 and 0.5. This prevents your raindrops from looking like rigid laser beams, giving them a natural falling motion that feels softer and more believable. Once you're happy with all your settings, click Compile and Save. Go back to your level in the main viewport. Now you need to actually get the rain into your scene. And position it high above your ground or environment so it rains down naturally. Then select your rain system in the outliner, look in the details panel for bounds scale, and increase it. For example, set it to 100, to make sure the rain covers your whole scene and doesn't clip out when you move around. And that's it. You've created a realistic rain effect with proper velocity, a wide spawn area, natural drag, and nice thin rain streaks. Play around with the velocity, spawn rate, and sprite size to get different rain moods, from gentle drizzle to heavy storm. Save your level, hit play, and enjoy your scene. Subscribe if you found this video useful.